Hey guys, so welcome to a Tinkercad tutorial that we have for today if you'd like to get started on your bookmarks really quickly. So once you are signed into Tinkercad, you're going to come over to your 3D designs and you're going to click create a new 3D design. And when you're in here, you can click your right mouse and if you hold it down, it will sort of you can use another finger to move that plane around. So that's one way to look at it. Now with our bookmarks, anything that goes through this plane is going to get sort of cut into our bookmark. So if I were to come over here and click on a cylinder and bring it out, I am going to actually need this to go through the surface. Right now it's sort of sitting on the top of it. So what I can do is I can hit Control and the down arrow and it will go through that. And now when I cut something, it will just cut a circle, all right? So how are you going to then make your bookmark? The first thing you want to do is bring a box over. So you can bring that over here and you can set the dimensions of your bookmark. So we're gonna go by 50 millimeters, which is just about two inches, and then you can go to 150. This is sort of your working ground for it. Um, and I will move this up a little so we can see it. Now, anything, like right now, it would just cut out just the box, all right? And we are going to think about what sort of designs you want to do. So maybe you want to write some text. You can click the text over here and bring it out. And when you click down, it will bring up this thing where you can write your text. So maybe I say, read. And when I click outside of that, will come in. If I want to have this cut out, what I can do is I can create a hole and I'm going to make it really tall. So the way to make these things tall is when you click on it, there's this arrow in the center. And if I hold on that and I pull it up, it'll make it really tall. And then I need to make it so that the whole word fits. So I can sort of click on a corner. If I hold shift down, it will keep that same sizing. So here's my read that I like. Now, one thing to know is that when I cut this out, so let's put this at the bottom for now, and I'm going to have it go through the red piece all the way. So I'm gonna hit control, and while I hold control down, I'm gonna click my down arrow. I can select both of these and group them together. And because the read is a whole, it's gonna come up like this. Now, when we cut this out with a laser, the inside of this D will not be there and the inside of this A will also not be there. OK, so it's really important to think about if you want those to stay attached, what you can do. I can zoom in using two fingers and scrolling. I can take a little cylinder here. I'm going to make it really skinny. Just like this. Even skinnier, something like this, and I can attach I can connect the top of the D with the middle part, all right? And I could maybe even copy this and paste it. And I could use my arrows to the side to do the same thing with the A. So now the inside of the A is attached to the sort of my big bookmark plate and the inside of the D is also attached. So when this laser cuts, it will cut around here and they will still be attached so you have the insides. If you wanted them to be empty, you would just not attach them in the first place. All right, so another option you could do is maybe you decide that you want some cool stars. So you could either cut out some big stars. So again, if I wanna cut it out, I'm gonna make it a hole and I'm gonna make this nice and tall and I'm gonna hit control and I'm gonna go down. So I go down through my current bookmark so I could do something like this as a star. Oops. And again, I can grab those two pieces and I can group them together up here. And that will cut that star through. Now let's say though, I wanted it to sort of have like lots of lines. So if I want lots of lines, I'm gonna make sure let's group all of this together because I have the pieces on the A and the D. I'm gonna move this down. And if I want it to be like lots of lines, what I could do is I could actually shorten this 
Oops, let's do, well, it's going to shorten all together now. So let's do, let's just cut the top off. So we'll cut the top off with a hole. So I'll take one of these guys that's a hole. I'm just going to cut the top part off. And we'll make it nice and tall. And so if we group these together, it's going to cut the top part of my bookmark off. And let's say I want to do a whole bunch of sort of rings, maybe. So I could take this guy as a ring. And I could come over here and move this ring here. And I could like maybe copy and paste it. And I can get like a cool look. So the laser cutter is going to cut out all of these little holes in those rings. Maybe you don't want a ring. Maybe you want a heart. So you can pull a heart over here. And you'll notice that this is a solid heart. So if we control copy, so control C, and then control paste it, control V, we can make this one up here a hole. And we'll make it slightly smaller like that. And then we want to center that hole here. So I'm going to first, I'm going to make it nice and tall. And we'll grab both of these. And to align them, we're going to come up here to this, um, this little bar graph. It looks like a bar graph. And we can align the centers. And then we're going to align the centers here too. And so now when I group this together, I'm going to get similar to this ring, but now it's a heart. And so if I wanted to, I could put a heart here. And I could do control C and control V to copy and paste my heart. So I could look something like this maybe. And maybe I also decide I want a star. So I could do the same thing. I could bring out a whole star and I could copy that with control C and paste it with control V. And I could make my second one a whole, so it will delete. I always like to make it a little tall and we'll make it a little bit smaller. And then we'll select both of these and we'll go up to our little align tool and we'll align the two centers. And I'm looking at this and that looks really thin to me. So I'm actually gonna make this a little bit, I'm gonna make the hole a little bit smaller so that the outside lines are thicker. And we'll need to realign that. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna actually just go a little bit more even smaller. And we'll align it one last time. And then I'll group those two things together. And I could shrink this. And I could move it. Oops. I could move it all on top of my hearts. Like this. Now, if I want to rotate it, I can grab one of these arrows and it will rotate it however I want. So maybe I want, and also, oh, it clicks into rotation if I'm close. And if I pull it out a little bit, it'll actually go into a very fine rotation. So maybe I want it like this, and I can click on my up arrow. So it'll attach to the hearts there. And maybe I want to have three stars across. Now this is like two wide, so I can take my three stars by highlighting all three of them. And if I hit shift while I pull this in and then let's make sure they're attached to those hearts just like that. All right. So those are some cool ways that you can cut things out of your bookmark. If you want some text that sort of cursive -y text, you could do a search for like cursive SVG generator and you can come over here to the Suncatcher Studio and you could write in whatever you want, like Odyssey, and you can update it like this. And it's going to make this for us. And of course, you'll have to notice that these, this E is going to fall out and parts of these S's will fall out. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work if we want Odyssey in there. But then I can right click on it. Maybe not. Let's see. Should be able to download it. If we go all the way to the bottom, we can save the SVG format. And we 
can save that into our downloads. And then we can, in here, we can bring that in. So the way that we do that in Tinkercad is we're going to come up here into import. And we're going to choose a file from our guy. We'll go back to our downloads and we will open up the download. And it comes in here and we can make some options if we want, but we'll just import that. And it will take a moment for this to come on in. There it is. It comes in huge, but that's okay. So I'm going to shrink this down. Maybe. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to shrink this down. Now, I could sort of just attach this onto the edge, but if I want to be able to have... Um, if I want this to have the Odyssey come out, what I can do is I can take one of these guys here and I'm actually going to make this solid and I'm going to make this one the whole and we're going to kind of align these two. They need to have the same thickness to do this. And so one way that we can do that is if I click on this, I can just type in the thickness, let's say five. And I can also type in the thickness here of five. That way they're the same thickness. And then as long as this box doesn't go outside of the gray that I have, but does cover up everything I want to cut out like this, what I can do now is I can grab the two pieces and group them together. And I'll be left with just the Odyssey. And now if I want, I can actually make this a hole. So let's make this a hole and I could pull it right into here if I wanted. I'm gonna hit control and down a little bit so that it all will cut completely through. And let's group everything together like this. And sometimes it'll take a moment for it to run everything. But we'll know it's done when the Odyssey comes through as like a whole, just like this star did. All right, so now I have the Odyssey part in there. And part of the problem though is gonna be those E's and the S's. If I don't mind this sort of like little drop piece falling out, then I can leave it. If I do mind, I can do the same thing that I did over on the E and the D of read, I can come in and I can sort of like add a little holder that will hold it in place. And I can copy that and I can move it over to any of these spots. As long as it's touching, then the laser cutter will have something to cut around. All right. If I hold control and shift while I do my left mouse click, I can move the whole thing over, which is very handy. So here are these guys. If it's moving too much, you can come down here to your snap grid and you can make it smaller than one millimeter, which lets you sort of move things over in smaller amounts. So now I have this. I do have these two pieces that will still fall out, but I think I'm okay with that. Um, I'm going to also connect the Y here and the D over here. So you have to have all these little connections, otherwise they'll just fall out at the end. If you don't mind them falling out, that's fine. I'm gonna also doubly connect the O, even though the O looks like it's connected right here. It's always good to have a little extra assurance. So that's gonna be my extra assurance. All right, so this so far is my bookmark. The other thing I want to show you that you can do for your bookmark is you could actually do a little bit of drawn art. So if you come over here on the scribble and you click on that, it will open up a new window. So you bring it out here, you put it down and it opens up a new window. Now, anything I draw here will become some art in there. So maybe I want to draw a nice smiley face. And you guys can spend some more time on this, however you like. 
And so here's my smiley face. And down here, I'm gonna say that I am done. And I could cut this out. So the way I'd cut it out is I could turn this into a hole. And let's make it really tall again. And I can come on over here with my right, left, and up and down arrows to center it. I'm gonna do control shift and I'm gonna left click my mouse to pull this over. I could have it hanging off the side, which could be kind of fun. Or I could have the whole face in here. I can just move it wherever I want. And then I'm going to, again, grab those two pieces, my current bookmark and the hole, and I'm going to group them together. And when that groups, I'm still gonna have the problem of this middle part of the face falling out like usual. So we've seen that quite a few times now. So I'm gonna do my normal fix that I've been doing. I'm gonna make a really small little cylinder and I'm going to just attach that part. So I can bring it on down just like that. All right, so now when the laser cutter cuts, it won't cut all the way out. If you want it to be really strong, you might put two pieces in there. All right, so now I'm gonna control, I'll put control A to get everything. I'll group everything together. And the last part that's really important is I'm going to hit control and my down arrow a couple of times. And this is going to make sure that everything I've just done is cutting through this blue plane. All right, so if you had things that were sort of really high up and didn't go all the way through, it might be hanging up off here and that won't get cut into your bookmark, all right? And so now what we'll do is we are going to rename our file. So I'm gonna come up here and I'll just click on this silly name it has and I'll put Dr. Erica. And I'm gonna put bookmark on there so I know what it is. And then if you want to see what it looks like, you can export it. And down here, you can export it for laser cutting. It's a .svg. And that will prep our computer to take that out. And sometimes, again, it takes a little bit of time for these guys. I can put it in my downloads. And then I can open it up. And it should show me a picture. Let's see. All right, so what we can do to see this is we'll actually go into a new Tinkercad window. And you can create a new 3D design. And we can import it. And we'll choose our file. We'll choose the same file that we just did. And we can just center it. This stuff does not really matter. So we just hit import and we'll give it a minute and it will come on in. So you'll notice it looks an awful lot like the one that I did have over here, but it's everything is the same thickness now. So we used to have this sort of very thick cube here and then it stepped down for our fun little cuts. And here it's all the same. So this is sort of what your bookmark would print out to be. It's just going to be much thinner give you a better idea, you can come over here and they're about one to two millimeters thick. So we could put in a 1.5 here. And then this is what your bookmark will look like when we cut it out of wood. All right, thanks so much for joining me. And I hope that this gives you some ideas of things you can make and helps you get through our class.